Let's talk about relationships now. When it comes to relationships, they can be really difficult, and learning to compromise can deflate the arguments and decrease those lonely nights sleeping on the couch. Don't want to sleep on the couch. You don't want to be stuck, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it, it, deflating the argument is really important. It's important to compromise. Mm -hmm. So first thing you got to do, you have to care. You have to care, all right. You have to care about the outcome and what your partner uh, feels. So it's really important to care. It's also important to listen. You need to listen to what they're saying, understand what they mean. Uh, these are very important uh, aspects of of just compromise you also need to have common ground so you probably both want the same things you need to find that place where you can both you know feel good about the decision you're about to make um, well, those are things you you need to have what do you not need to have you don't need to be rigid Oh, why not? You, you gotta you can't stand be your ground. You gotta be flexible. <laughs> gotta be flexible because you know one person wants one thing, the other mm -hmm. may want something else. Example: I want a red living room. I want a blue living room. Let's compromise. Purple. Let's do purple. Oh, no, you not know? purple. You gotta be able to compromise. <laughs> but, you know, you, you can't be rigid. You have to come to an agreement. You have to come to that point where it's like, okay, we, we gotta come together on this. You know, let's not argue about this. We can come to an agreement, meet halfway. Should we, should we should maybe ask one of our mother-in-laws. No. No, okay, no. This is between us. All right. Between us. And sometimes you have to lose before you gain. And okay. what I'm saying is you may have to lose your pride. You may have to lose that ego, that need to always be right. You have to lose before you gain in compromise. I see that. Yeah. Well, you put your pride down just put a little bit. Put your pride down. And outcomes are always more important than methodology. I mean, if the relationship is strengthened, the relationship moves forward, uh, that's going to be better than what you were probably wanting in the first place. Just get the job done. Okay. Get that's it done. Awesome. Hey, if people want some help with the relationship, Christina, how can they get a hold of you? I am with Passion Unlimited Counseling and Consulting. You can email me, Christina, at Passion Unlimited LLC, or go to my website, PassionUnlimitedLLC.com. Because she's unlimited with the passion. And I'm flipping marriages left and right, so get your marriage flipped, <laughs> call me. It means you keep the marriage, that means you're changing marriages. You, no, we're going <laughs> to flip it. We're going to get it right. We're not changing it, we're flipping it. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, we don't want to change partners. <laughs> All right. All right. When we come back, that's the answer to today's Coffee Talk trivia question. <laughs>